How we doing everybody? Okay, so the main event just finished right now. Rob Font taking on Marlon Vera. I'm in the octagon. Oh my God, what an incredible fight. Just unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, where do I start? I mean, obviously, Cheeto Vera won the fight. He did incredible damage to Rob Font. But let's start with this. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these. Perillo and Ruka founder Pat Tenori in the house. Jason Perillo, Jason, Jason, Jason. Talk to me about the fight. That was wonderful, wasn't it? I would like Cheeto to be a little bit more busy. What do you think when Cheeto had Rob Font on the floor and didn't follow him down and was throwing elbows? God, I, wanted him, I got frustrated <laughs> with him. I did get frustrated with him because I, I honestly, I think he had three, in three different rounds, he had three different opportunities to finish. You know what I mean? But he, he will, he gained a lot of knowledge off that experience. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Pat Tenori, Ruka, founder, legend yeah, in the him, house. He had him hurt, you know what I mean? He started off slow like he always does, but you know, I can't, here's the thing, it's hard to take something away from Rob Fox. Rob, I mean? Rob, get a little closer, Pat, so the audio for the YouTubes. Um, Rob got off to a really good start though, high volume. Were you high concerned volume. at all? I knew he was gonna break up, I knew he was gonna bust up, I knew he had a hard time making weight. You know, you know when a yep, guy has yep. a hard time every week, he's not the same, he's not the same man. As the, as the fight progresses, he's going to get tired. He broke his orbital maybe five or six months ago. Yep. You know what I mean? I knew his face was going to bust up. You know what I mean? But I thought Cheeto was going to turn it up a little bit more volume. He didn't. He was being really, really just calculating. You saw me getting the hook kick. Hitting the, End of the yeah. second, dropped him with the left, left hook. hook. Yeah, that left then hook. Then drops him with the hook kick. And it was frustrating because he didn't go back to that left hook on the yep, inside. Yep, you know yep. what I mean? But... He's learning, isn't he? You no, know, no, no, no. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh. He made a statement. He made a goddamn statement. All right. Yeah. I'm not going to force you to do this, Pat, for eight minutes. Go on, get out oh, of here. Are you going to do eight minutes? I'm doing eight oh, minutes. Oh, you're welcome. How, how much we kill? Uh, we, you, you mess it up. Two minutes. Get out of here. Go on. <laughs> Piss off, boys. That is the legendary Jason Perillo and the legendary Pat Tenori, who founded Ruka. Um, anyway, where was I? Yeah, so Rob Font, as we were just saying there, did get off to a very, very good start. But Cheeto Vera, man. He's so tough. None of those shots seemed like they affected him at all. You know what I mean? And it's not a good sign. You know, obviously, listen, may the best man win when I'm commentating and totally impartial. But yeah, of course, I have a relationship with Cheeto. Um, and I know Jason as well, Cheeto's coach. So, you know. But anyway, uh, Rob got off to a great start. Round two, though, as, as we just discussed, right at the end, I mean, Rob was connecting with a lot of shots, but the left hook dropped him. Landed a couple of good elbows. That brought Cheeto back into the fight round three. Again, volume from Rob Font for the first half of the round. Second half of the round, Cheeto kind of comes back into it. Lands a hook kick, drops him, has him in all kinds of trouble. At one point, Rob's on the floor. Cheeto's just on top of him, doesn't follow him down. I thought he should have gone down. He has a better ground game. He has a better, I'm getting mocked here for doing a YouTube channel. If you can see that guy in the background, that's Elliot, head of security. Uh, or one of the security, not heck, let's be honest. Um, but um, yeah, he never followed him down. I think Cheeto, he missed an opportunity there. However, the damage was all on the side of Cheeto Vera. He got the job done. Afterwards, gets in the cage. We do the interview, he's very emotional. His wife's there, his children, his whole team. It's beautiful, man. His first ever main event. He's on track to be a champion. I mean, the, the chin on the guy is just unbelievable. The conditioning of the man. I mean, he was dancing around. He was moving his feet. He wasn't even breathing at all. The referee, Jason Herzog, had a really tough time trying to break things up because Cheetah was trying to get at him at the start of every round, every single time. I mean, he is, he really is a savage. Anyway, fight ends. Clear victory for Cheeto Vera. Poor old Rob Font. I like Rob. Great guy. Nothing but respect for him and his entire team. Um, nothing but respect for him and his entire, entire team. But... That's two in a row now, but there's no shame. Last one was to Jose Aldo, this time to Cheeto Vera. Cheeto now is on a three-fight win streak. Davy Grant, Frankie Edgar, Rob Font. Only person to beat him recently was Jose Aldo, and he had Jose in some problems. He caused, you know, he caused Jose to have to adjust. Oh, my arm's tired. Ooh, gotta rest these arms. Gotta work out more. Anyway, so what next? Well, we saw Cheeto in the ring, he said, Four, three, two, one. Anybody, you know, I firmly believe Cheeto will be the champ one day. I don't know if it's going to be this year, next year, but one year Cheeto will. First main event, first Ecuadorian in the UFC. 
first Ecuadorian to be in the main event. I mean, it's incredible what he's achieved. But it's because of his approach. I mean, yes, his mind is very strong. His work ethic is very strong. At the weekends, this man is out there running half marathons on his rest days. It's wild. He's doing 48 hour fasts. For, <laughs> I don't know why, because I could, I could not do that. I could not do that. Anyway, what a great night of fights. Andre Arlovsky in the co main event got the job done. I did an interview with him, and I'll be honest, I couldn't hear a goddamn word. I couldn't understand a goddamn word that he was saying. Uh, what else? What else? The prelims were amazing. Some, a lot of stoppages on the prelims. Tonight was the 100th event for the UFC on ESPN. So there's a nice little line mark there. Um, there's Cheeto over there in the background talking to the Spanish news team. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, there it is. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna rest that there. That's better. That is better. Miles, how long's on the clock, bud? Three, three minutes. This is Miles. This is Miles. This is the sound team. They take care of us. Or oh, I drive them crazy. One of those. Let's have a look at the octagon floor. You guys like this. Not too bloody tonight. No massive, massive piles of blood, but um, specks, spickles, little bits of blood here and there, you know? But that's the game, that's what we do. Anyway, hope you're all well. Cheeto, come here. See, let's see if we can get him. You reckon he'll come? Say a few words for the tube? I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go to him. Cheeto, never mind ESPN. We're on YouTube here. <laughs> let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. <laughs> Cheeto, never mind the ESPN. We're, 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 on, we're on the fucking YouTube channel, bro. Hey, YouTube channel, Michael Bisping. How do you feel, hey, man? I feel a little bloody. Oh, yeah. Don't touch me. COVID, <laughs> COVID. Um, what took you so long? Uh, Why didn't you try and finish the game? I try, but you know, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing now? A few beers? Oh yeah, whiskey shots, man. Whiskey shots. When are we doing dinner? Uh, when are we getting drunk? Let's go. When you're ready, let's, you tell me we go. Okay, okay. Let's end, let's end this tape right now. Next week. Congrats, brother. Thank you, my brother. Proud of you, man. Proud of you. It. All right. Latino.